Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Benita and you're watching Benita Doodles and today I am going to talk you through a pastel lima that I did. Now the original picture I got from a wonderful zoo called Wingham Wildlife Park which is in Kent in the UK in Canterbury and it's a really really lovely animal park and I've got some amazing photos from there from the last time that I went which was about two years ago I think desperate to go back because they've got a black panther there that I want to get um, some nice shots of but they've got this amazing lima walk that when you walk in um, you're not allowed to touch them but when you walk in they're all running around so uh, you know there's no fence between you there's a pathway that you have to follow you're not allowed off that pathway but when we went the weather wasn't particularly great it was very overcast very drab and and gray and it wasn't until we got to the lima section that the sun came out now when we walked through i had my kids with me at the time there was like one or two lemurs that were just sort of sat on the hut thing that they they sleep in and as you can imagine they were pretty disappointed and then i was taking a picture of them and i hadn't realized until my youngest pointed out that they'd all come out of the box as soon as the sun came out they'd all come out of their box had a walk and literally the whole cabin area that they were in they just emptied out and they all just strolled across walked across this path all in between us you know not bothered at all that we were there and there was mummy there she had this beautiful little baby lemur i have got some pictures of that but i wanted to have a go at a single one first to see if i was capable of doing it um but have you ever seen them when they <laughs> sit there and they sunbathe it's the coolest thing ever if you haven't google even look on youtube sunbathing lemurs it's hilarious it's like they're meditating they just cross their little legs they put their arms out and they point their palms to the sun and they just shut their eyes and they just sit in the sun i'm actually sitting here doing the actions while i'm doing your voiceover <laughs> that's how relaxing i'm finding talking about it um yeah it's really quite incredible to see this mass exodus of lemurs out of this hut just walking across the path all plonking their bums down on the grass and little bubby lemurs as well clinging on to their mums and just chilling out and i've got some amazing pictures of this one stretching and yoga poses and yeah because there was no wire between us i was able to get some amazing shots and this was one of them um so when i was looking at what pictures to draw because i'm working my way through the sample pack of pastel mats that i have and it's various colors now there wasn't a color that was similar to the color background he had so i ended up actually adding that myself and that was done with the pan pastels so i've actually only got one or two greens and it was the green oxide i think i used for the background um yeah so uh, i had to add that into the background to make sure that he had the same color as what he did in the photograph i didn't have to but i wanted him to have the overall feel of a photograph so that meant that i needed to include the background also it means that because of the whites of his ears and the fluff and you'll see on his back in the video and on the top of his head he's actually got some very very fine long furs that um, stick out um, I've noticed owls have these too and I'm looking at doing an owl at my next subject I've got about five more sheets I think to go through um, so yeah I'm hoping that an owl will be next and I've just noticed that I have a blob of blue tack because when I take my Instagram photos I have to do it on blue tack to stop the pencils rolling because my desk is tilted um, but it's not the most attractive thing to look at so I apologize in advance for the blob of blue tack um, yeah he was really enjoyable to do and I had loads of fun with him and the ability to get the illusion of fur 
and straggly bits and the highlights and just ev everything in pastels it's a revelation to me and you know I don't know how new you are to my channel but I've only done this is probably my sixth or seventh portrait in pastels or pastels full stop essentially because I'm still very new to the medium but I was really impressed I have been really impressed by how quick the medium works now this one before I time-lapsed it came out at a total of four hours 58 now give or take interruptions from the kiddos being Easter holidays um, I could probably knock an hour off for interruptions you saw a big space there where I wasn't doing anything probably going to get them juice or something or their lunch um, but the process I actually find really quite relaxing and I have a sneaky feeling that I may end up loving pastels more than I will pencils which I'm scared to say because I love my pencils and you know I've got over some extremely big disgusts using pastels if you've been watching my videos you may have seen the reviews where I'm actually gagging down the camera apologies for that um, but I've gotten over a lot to get used to these pastels and every now and then it does still great on me but I've learned to just put up with it because the results are just so worth it it's worth the pain it's worth the the goosebumps and everything else that it gives me so if you've never tried the medium before just go for a cheap set of pencils you don't have to go for anything elaborate and you don't need a mass of colors either because you you can blend them within reason and I'm just finding the whole process and the learning so enjoyable and I think I sort of missed that a little bit you know with life in general I am a big learner I have to be learning something all the time because once I do and then I know it to the best I can know it I can get a little bit bored and I think that's probably what happened a little bit with the colouring pencils so the fact that I can render up a portrait like this which is a five which for those of you who are not in the UK is 148 by 210 millimeters or 5.8 inches by 8.3 inches so it's not the biggest of portraits but it still took as I say around a good four hours to do but the detail you can get with pastels is just immense and I love it and I think it's worth anyone having a go unless you really do you know it does actually make you physically sick then no don't use them because you're not going to get very far without making a mess but I mean I loved the lemur I love the fact that he had different colors in the furs he had the mottled effect under his chin he had lots of um uh, wiggly wiggly I always struggle with these voiceovers not wiggly I don't know fluffy you know I don't know whatever whatever I'm trying to say because I really don't know it's quarter past 11 at night and I'm doing a voiceover Benita what are you thinking but look at him he's just the cutest thing ever and you know every artist has doubts at every time you know there's always points in a drawing where they think oh, do I carry on what's the point is it worth it okay let's just crack on with it and at no point in this picture did I feel like that and I'm really proud with the outcome of it we've got a really long gap here so I apologize and I may even chop it out so if it disappears you know why um but yeah it's just a really enjoyable process and it renders up so quickly I mean like his black nose that um leather's not the right word but sort of fleshy um skin the the texture it just worked really really well and it was easy to achieve that without huge amounts of layering and work which when you work in coloring pencil it's one of the slowest mediums out there but it is super satisfying i will not take that away from coloring pencils colored pencils because i have done some work to be really proud of in colouring pencils but the time it takes 
had I been doing this particular portrait in colouring pencil you'd probably be looking at 12 plus hours and uh, I don't know whether I would have achieved such detail I you know I know that eventually I probably would have but I'm just enjoying it so much and you know why stop if I'm enjoying it and you know you guys get to have a chat with me about the process you get to see what I'm doing you get to learn a little bit in the meantime and it's just yeah it's as I say it's great to learn new things it's always worth having a go at something even if it's just to find out that you don't actually enjoy it and that you don't want to do that again never stop wanting to learn and I think that's so important in life not just art just in life and I've always taught my children that you know you just, just learn 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 there's always so much to learn never close your mind off to anything because it's incredible what you don't know I mean his eyes you look at his eyes they're just it really picks up that glassy look that he has in his eyes and it's so achievable with this medium so yeah I am really really thoroughly enjoying it and um, I'm going to stop boring you now by talking over and just let you watch the last two three minutes in peace see what you think of the final result let me know down below what you think leave a comment give me a thumbs up um, please subscribe if you like what you're seeing there'll be a variety of videos on my channel and um, if you hit the bell button you'll get notified when the next video is up ready for you to watch so with that I shall see you on the next one bye